Hi, I'm Kelly Jordan. Welcome to Lucky Craft Web TV. What I'd like to share with you today is the Pointer 128. This is the flagship of the Pointer line. It's the biggest one we make. It's an awesome, awesome bait. It's heavy, it's big, works great, has an incredible action underwater. You can throw it a country mile and it gets the big bite, which is everything you want in a jerk bait. What it does that other, some of the other pointers do, but this one does it to the extreme, is it actually goes a little bit deeper. And like I said, you can cast it farther. And one of the benefits of using such a big jerk bait is the visibility of the bait. Fish can see it from a longer, farther distance, and uh, you possibly can draw a bite from much farther or deeper in the water than you might with a little bit smaller jerk bait. One of the other really neat deals is all the color patterns that are offered in the 128. And this one right here, a lot of you guys probably haven't seen this color, but this is one of my favorites, especially here on Lake Amistad in Texas. This is called the shrimp brown color. Now, I guess it looks like a shrimp, but you know what else it looks like? It looks just like a tilapia or a brown. Now there's a lot of tilapia in Mexico, Texas, Florida. I believe there's some lakes in California that have them as well. It's a very good representation of a tilapia and also a brim, sunfish, whatever. Green, green perch or whatever. Looks really great and the fish haven't seen this a lot. It's kind of a color that you don't see a whole lot. Really excited about it. And if you ever go to Mexico or come to Texas or go to Florida and looking for a big fish, this is a great color. Some of the other colors that are really good that many of you guys probably know about. <clears throat> Here's the chartreuse shad. This is probably the most universal color in a jerkbait that Lucky Craft offers. It uh, works everywhere. Big, white, but yet kind of has a blue sheen and a little bitty stripe of chartreuse in there. It has great visibility, yet looks really natural in the water. Another color that everybody knows about is chrome blue back. Lucky Craft calls it Aurora Black. Can't go wrong with this. It's chrome, got a white belly, goes fades to blue on the top and then has a black back. Everyone loves chrome and blue. Gotta have this one too. Works nationwide, probably worldwide, <laughs> anywhere there's bait fish and you like to have flash in the water. That's what you want. Now my personal favorite color, pretty much all around if, if, if we have fairly clear water, um, it's just about my first choice all the time that I start with is ghost minnow. This is one that tied for number one probably, but maybe a barely getting edged out by chartreuse shad is the number one color. This is ghost minnow. Everybody needs to have this color in their box. Another one that's great, it's, it's fairly new. It's one of the newer um, offerings from Lucky Crafts. I think we've only had it out maybe two years. It's probably the most realistic looking color that we have. It has individual scales that have hand put on there by hand, stuck on this bait before the final process is done. Metallic scales, it's unbelievable. When you get up real close, it looks like a bait fish. This is American Shad. That's what this color is. It's the, got the kind of chroma sides with a little bit of bronze in there and then the back has all the sparkly scales, fades to blue and has a black back. It's almost like a chrome blue, but a little bit different and very realistic looking. Now here's its sister color is the herring color, which is about the same thing. A little more shiny chrome, fades to a more of an olive back, a little bit lighter. Not much difference, but to some people, this may make all the difference in the world. Depends what kind of bait fish you have and what the fish are telling you in that particular day, but you gotta have at least one of these in, in your box at all times. This is a deadly bait when you're trying to really look realistic, yet have a lot of flash. There's one. Got one of them to hit it. Good fish too. Good fish. Look at there. He liked that pointer 128, didn't he? Come on, give us a jump. That's just a nice fish right there. Oh man, I got hooks everywhere. Nice little fish, about maybe a two and three quarter, three pounder. 
And it's amazing, this pointer 128, it's a really big bait. Catch this really big fish, but I've caught 10 inch bass in this, this too, so don't let the size of this bait, because it's so big, kind of scare you away from throwing it. You know, there is the big fish, big bait deal, but it's got a lot to do with visibility. And like I said, yeah, I've caught plenty of 10 inch bass in this, so don't let the size fool you. When the conditions call for it, a pointer 128 is a great choice.